Hey, Rob from Producer Tech here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a workflow with Push where you can transform just one sample into virtually all of the parts of this track I've just created. So I'm starting off with a project that contains only three samples. Two of them are the kick and snare in this drum rack on track one, and the other is a one-shot sample that sounds like this. First up then, I'm going to play in a two-bar drum groove for my kick and snare. So with track one selected, and in note mode, I'll just turn on the metronome, activate fixed length, and set it to two bars, have accent on as well so the notes will be max velocity, and then hit record. The first part I want to create is a kind of side-chained pad sound. So first, I'll convert the audio track to a drum rack, which creates a new MIDI track with the drum rack on and the sample on the first pad. So on the envelopes page now, I'll turn down sustain and release, and then I can just use decay to set how long I want the sound to last. What I want now though is to create a bar long clip. And as I want notes on each beat, each one lasting for a beat, I need to set the grid to a quarter note resolution, and then just activate each step in the grid. Next, I'm actually going to change the envelope so it's fading in rather than out with each step, so I'll increase the attack. But as it's really loud, I'm going to go for a much later point in the sample back on the main page. And finally, on the filter window, set it to high pass, and then have it so most of the bottom end is rolled off. I'll need to turn it up a bit now though on the global page. And there's my first sound. Next up, I'm going to create some percussion. So I'm going to go back to track 2 with the sample on and repeat the process again, going into clip mode and then converting the audio sample to a drum rack. And then have the envelope as just a brief decay. This time though, I'm going to add a bandpass filter to it, with a very high resonance. So it's nice and colourful, a bit like tuned percussion of some kind. And to turn it into even more of a percussive sound, I'm going to use the pitch envelope on the envelopes page. So I'll set it to around an octave, so about 12 semitones, and then have the decay so it turns into less of a single pitch and more of a twang as that pitch modulates downwards. So I'll play in a pattern for this sound now. And make it just a one bar loop. And quantize those notes. And just to make it a little more real now, I'm going to automate a couple of the parameters ever so slightly. First, the pitch envelope decay. And then, the filter cutoff. And if I want to, I can change the sample start time to see how that affects the sound. For the next rhythmic part, I'm just going to duplicate the track I'm working with, but I'll get rid of the clip we just made. And instead, in notes mode, I'll switch the grid to eighths now. Solo the track, and I'll create another one bar loop, and turn on every step. 
So that's the sound we had before, but this time I'm going to turn off the pitch envelope and turn on the filter envelope instead. So turning the filter envelope amount up. I'll make it a bit quicker by shortening the decay and shift the frequency a bit higher. And for this one, I'm going to automate the filter frequency so it goes up and down across the clip. So I'll turn on automation record and then hit record to add that in. I can boost the gain back on the global page and maybe transpose it up a bit as well. If it starts to sound a bit too tuneful at any point, then we can make it less obviously pitched back on Simpler's filter page by turning up the LFO amount. But first I need to turn on the LFO and I'll increase its rate as well. And the volume envelope decay can be made a bit briefer too by turning down the decay, so we have mostly just the initial transient. And the last thing I'll do is add auto filter to the track, just so I can roll off the bottom end with a high pass. I don't want any resonance, and I'll set the type to one of the state variables, so I can use the drive control to add some warmth, and also boost the level. So let's hear this with my other sounds. So you can hear how push really enables you to transform samples in your own way. To hear the progression of this track, including the creation of the main melody and bass part, just sign up to the Push Workflow Techniques course at producertech.com. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.